I knew I liked tennis when I was like six. I played all sports up until about 15, and then at 17, 18, I started to kind of become really good at tennis. And then at that point, I was like, hey, you know what? I might pursue this as a professional career. And I had success early. I went from not ranked to 70 in the world in a year, and um, which was which was great. But then, yeah, all of a sudden, a year into it, you're almost you're seated at some tournament. You're expected to win half your matches, so you do feel the pressure. He did turn pro and became a, a kind of an overnight sensation. I'm David Dines. I'm one of the uh, uh, orthopedic attending surgeons at the Hospital for Se Special Surgery in New York. I'm the co-chief of the shoulder service of the sports and shoulder service of the Hospital for Special Surgery um, and the head uh, medical director of the ATP tennis tour. Uh, the first time I met Dr. Eines was in Belgium. I was 16 or 17 years old. I was the practice partner for the U.S. Davis Cup team, and you were the U.S. Davis Cup doctor. You know, we've been his go-to uh, physician, uh, myself, and, and subsequently Josh Dines, who is my son, and also a member of the sports, uh, children's sports service at the hospital for special surgery. So uh, we've become the, the team physicians for Sam, for Sam Query over the years. I was in London, I hit a serve one day and kind of felt a, a weird pain. Uh, I guess he was practicing for Wimbledon um, and all of a sudden he went up for a serve and felt his arm lock. He couldn't even move his elbow. He literally was locked at about 45 degrees. We had him in the OR at special surgery within three or four days um, and we uh, were able to uh, uh, basically remove a lot of loose bodies and, and smooth out a very irregular surface in his elbow joint that was creating a problem. In the injury that Sam sustained, it's very, very common. Um, young, these guys play at a very young age. Their growth plates are still open and they get these kind of developmental changes in their elbow that leads them susceptible to this kind of a problem. Once you're done with surgery, you've got months of rehab and it's tedious, boring rehab. You know, in your head, you, you know it's working, but it is boring. And you know, you just wanna kinda of get out there and start hitting again, but you, you have to be patient, let it heal properly. That was about um, three months of no tennis, and then I slowly got back into it, and about five months later was when I really kind of trusted it again and, and felt good. And We worked with him very, very diligently on regaining mobility, regaining strength, and being able to hit a tennis ball again with the same fervor and, and ability. The problem then becomes trusting it and, and your own psychological confidence to be able to return to the sport at the highest level. And as an athlete, it's that's the that's the hardest part. Once you have surgery, it's trusting that you're you're healed and ready to go at a, at 100 again. And thanks to the great help from you guys, um, you know I trusted it and, and got back out there. And my elbow has been great for the last seven years now. The hospital is great. I mean, everyone was so nice. All the nurses, all the doctors, um, everyone was incredible. And, and you know, not only that, it had some great views. Of, I think is it the East River? Yeah. Uh, nice views of the East River out there. So uh, the whole. It was uh, the best case scenario of a, of a worst case scenario, you know.